Bonjour à tous. Uh oh, this is in French class, is it? How embarrassing! Hello, everybody. Today we will be discussing the airlift bioreactor. Now, what exactly is an airlift bioreactor? An airlift bioreactor is a type of bioreactor in which the reaction medium is constantly mixed by the movement of gas or air being introduced at the base of the reactor by a draft tube. The rising air drags the surrounding fluid in the bioreactor upwards, and it is sufficient to stir up the contents. It employs continuous culture. An airless bioreactor is sectioned into three parts. The air riser, the down comer, and the disengagement zone. The air riser is the area where air bubbles rise in a vertical fashion. It may be on the inside or the outside of the draft tube. The down comer is the area where fluid is directed downwards in a vertical fashion. This counters the upward movement of the air bubbles, circulating the liquid and improving the mixing efficiency. Lastly, the disengagement zone is a sudden widening at the top of the reactor, which slows down bubble velocity, allowing them to disengage at the surface. Carbon dioxide-rich bubbles are thus prevented from entering the downcomer. Moving on, we will discuss the advantages of the airlift bioreactor. Due to the presence of the draft tube, which is unique to the airlift bioreactor, circulation and oxygen transfer is improved as bubble coalescence is reduced. Productivity of cells is also improved as the draft tube equalizes shear forces within the bioreactor as compared to using stirred tank reactors. The airlift bioreactor allows both cells and growth media to be gently circulated without damaging them. The mechanical parts are also easily constructed, and there is no need for special aseptic seals. Scaling up is easier, and metabolic performance does not drastically reduce on scale up, which is a very good advantage in commercial uses. Moving on, we will discuss the disadvantages of the airlift bioreactor. Due to the high concentration of bubbles that are constantly being introduced, excessive foaming is an imminent problem. Air bubbles that break at the water surface might also damage surrounding animal cells. In conclusion. The installation of a simple draft tube allows for many advantages in the airlift bioreactor, and also caters to the high fragility of cells. This is useful as some animal cell lines that are unique and fragile can be preserved for a longer period of time, considering the reduced damage the airlift bioreactor does to the cells, such as cell lysis and shearing. That concludes our. Video presentation. Thank you for watching.